Percy is a little green engine who can shunt and pull. He pulls both passengers and freight. At the docks and at the quarry. Percy's favourite job is carrying the mail. But sometimes Percy has so much to do he ends up running late. That evening, Percy arrived late at Brendam Docks. You're late again, Percy, said the dock manager. I will have to speak to the fat controller. Percy was upset. Percy returned to Tidmouth Sheds. The other engines were already asleep. Then Percy heard voices on the other side of the sheds. It was the fat controller and he was talking to Percy's driver. Percy tried not to listen, but he couldn't help himself. Percy has been late too often this week, said the fat controller. He must go to the scrapyards tomorrow. The fat controller wants to scrap me, gasped Percy. Percy worried all night long. The next morning, the sun shone and the birds sang, but Percy was too upset to notice. The fat controller wants to scrap me, he cried, and all because I was late. The fat controller wouldn't scrap a really useful engine, said Thomas, and you, Percy, are a really useful engine. Percy felt better until he noticed the time. I'm going to be late, he cried. Percy wished away. If he was on time, maybe the fat controller wouldn't send him to the scrapyards. Percy's first job was collecting pipes from Brendam Docks. But when he arrived, Cranky was still unloading. Hurry up, slow coach, wished Percy. I must be on time. I'll take as long as I like, said Cranky, and he went slower than ever. The moment Cranky had finished, Percy took off. He hadn't waited for the pipes to be tied down. Percy rounded the bend. The pipes slipped and fell all over the track. But Percy puffed on. Percy thought he delivered the pipes. So he chuffed away to his next job. Percy was to take some tar wagons to the workmen mending the roads. Be careful, said his driver. Tar is sticky stuff. But Percy wasn't being careful. He was going too fast. Percy charged down Gordon's Hill. He didn't see Gordon and the Express until it was too late. The brake van passed Gordon. But the tar wagons didn't. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Gordon was very cross. Now look what you've done. He wished, what will the fat controller say? Percy thought he knew. Oh, no, he cried. I'm sure to be scrapped now. And so Percy decided to run away. Harvey was clearing away the tar wagons when the fat controller arrived aboard Thomas. Where is Percy? He said, he has caused confusion and delay. Gordon didn't know. He just left very quickly, sir. He heard you at the shed, sir, said Thomas. He thought you were sending him to be scrapped. I think I need a word with Percy, said the fat controller. You must all help me find him. And so everyone looked for Percy. 
They searched high and they searched low. They looked to and fro, but they couldn't see Percy anywhere. What's to become of me? Percy whispered, but there was no one around to hear. Percy looked very small and felt very lonely. Thomas and the Fat Controller were looking for Percy on Thomas's branch line. Thomas suddenly had an idea. I think I know where Percy is, sir. And he puffed back to Tidmouth's sheds as fast as he could. The sheds were very quiet as Thomas rolled into the engine berth. Percy, called the Fat Controller, are you there? Please don't scrap me, sir, he said. I didn't mean to be late or cause trouble. Scrap you, boomed the Fat Controller. Why, the very thought of it. And the Fat Controller told Percy what he had really said. I told your driver that you had been working too hard, and that was why you were late. I had decided, after taking some scrap to the smelters, that you were to carry the mail all week. Percy was as happy as he had ever been. Do you really mean it, sir? Puffed Percy proudly. The mail for a whole week. Thank you, sir. Percy couldn't stop himself tooting for joy. Thomas tooted too. It was good to have his friend back. So Percy carried the mail all week. He wasn't late and he didn't make a mistake. Not one. And Percy decided never to listen to silly stories ever again. Especially not ones made up by himself. 